What's up guys and welcome to the national iPhone 12 leaks day. We've got so much stuff in just one day. A hands-on video look of the actual iPhone 12 Pro Max model, camera features, 120Hz mode, and even a possible launch event leak. This actually turned out to be fake according to John Prosser, but still we've got so much stuff to discuss. Let's get right into it. First up, we have some camera gains. As we have seen with other manufacturers in the Android world coming out with bigger sensors, Apple on the other hand it's still sticking to a smaller sensor but it has one other sensor that could be the big game changer you see with big sensors we get amazing bokeh naturally and i think this is why samsung removed the tof sensor on the note 20 ultra and they're likely to do the same thing with the galaxy s21 but apple is pretty strongly confident about its special lidar sensor and now we know why according to the actual iphone 12 pro max screenshot it shows that lidar sensor is involved in assisted autofocus and subject detection for both video and night mode. So technically, iPhone 12 Pro Max will be able to do the same job at bokeh as the other main sensor phones. There's another option such as advanced noise reduction, depth video for the first time, meaning a real-time bokeh in videos thanks to this new sensor. Also, smaller sensor allows you to have a better focus when you're up close to the subject, so there's actually going to be more in focus on on the iPhone compared to other big sensor phones. I have to say this implementation of the LiDAR sensor is kind of a smart move. There's finally a enhanced night mode that works with tripod and I cannot wait to see the results. Right now the current 11 Pro Max can hold up pretty well against the big Android cameras thanks to its incredibly powerful night mode. But iPhone 12 will take things to a whole new level thanks to Apple A14 chip which by the way allows you to record videos at 4 4K 120fps, also at 4K 240fps. Just so you know, Samsung just added the ability to do a 1080p video at 120 frames per second. It's my favorite Note 20 Ultra camera feature by far, but Apple is about to take that number and multiply it with 4 and give us 4K at 120 frames per second. Now regarding the 120Hz, there is a full evidence of 120Hz mode working perfectly fine on the iPhone 12 Pro Max through a manual toggle as explained by John Prosser. There's even an adaptive 120Hz option where the phone will switch from 120Hz and 60Hz mode. Of course, there is no LTPO tech which is why the refresh rate cannot go all the way down to 10Hz like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can do. But still, despite not having LTPO, Apple is still giving their all and they're testing everything they can regarding the 120Hz on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The hope is still alive. I wish this happens on the final product. Again, Again, mass production has yet to kick off, anything can happen. By the way, this is a live image of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. John actually even posted a video of this, so it's pretty legit and unsurprisingly, the design is similar to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, at least from the front. We have almost the same kind of notch design. Because the screen size is bigger, the notch is kind of appearing to be a little bit smaller. So anyone who's here for a massive design change should probably wait for iPhone 13 and just stick with the iPhone 11 lineup. Unless Apple brings 120Hz juicy scoop, then things do become interesting. Now for those of you who like Face ID, you'll be happy to know that it's now getting even better. It's said to have a faster speed and even wider field of detection. Here are the latest pricing information, $699 starting price. You're getting 5G, Apple A14, dual camera, like you get so much at $699 price range. I definitely have to say that Apple is bringing a lot of value going completely opposite compared to some brands as for the colors here are the lineup that we could see uh, of course this time around we have the all new navy color also the display size is confirmed it's coming at 6.7 inches xdr oled we also have the full resolution mentioned as well so pretty much confirms the whole deal regarding the iphone 12 pro max the 20 watt charger is confirmed but it's coming separately out of the box and yes omg is indeed happening the charger won't be included inside the box. It's going to be the first phone to come without a charger. There's also going to be no headphones, so you're just going to get the phone and a brand new braided lightning cable. It is a great move for the 
environment, but I'm sure there's going to be a huge backlash. But now I truly understand why iPhone 12 is a $699 starting price phone. It might actually be even cheaper than this price. We're not completely sure. But now I completely understand where Apple is kind of managing the cost. Apple has simplified the design of the battery to save money. Very smart move. And then of course, the removal of charger as well as the headphones. All of this will bring the price down. So like most people, if you have a charger at home, I don't think it's going to be that much of a big issue. Again, we'll see how Apple covers everything live on stage. As for the back design, here is how the camera module will look. It's definitely a lot more cleaner and smaller than the current Android boys out there. But it's said to be around 10% bigger than the iPhone 11 Pro Max thanks to the new optics being used. Now we also have some official information on the Apple A14 chip which was manufactured using the 5 nanometer process of TSMC. We now actually have a full idea of how much exactly we are getting in terms of performance improvement and efficiency over the last year's 7 nanometer A13 chip. So as reported on Anand Tech website, we're looking at 30% efficiency and a 15% performance boost. Again, this is just the node to node improvement. The actual chipset itself may even be more powerful than we think. In the previous video, I mentioned that the Apple A14X is rumored to be as powerful as a desktop Intel Core i9 processor. It's absolutely crazy what Apple is doing. The A14X will most likely going to power some of Apple's laptops so Apple is on a whole new different level when it comes to their processors and it's not just the number flex Apple is introducing things like 4k 120 FPS with extended HDR performance the enhanced night mode all that stuff will be utilizing the Apple a14 chip things are about to get super exciting in the month of October 2020 that's where we're gonna get the final announcement of all the products as per latest information coming from the one and only John Prosser Drop your thoughts in the comment section below regarding the iPhone 12 Pro Max and all the leaks. Uh, what do you think about the design and the pricing and everything? Do you think Apple is coming strong or do you think that people should wait for next year? Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.